Welcome back, everybody, to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. I'm Grumpy Grandpa Gaming, and this is episode 4 of our Austria Hungary 1890 Legendary Campaign. So, uh, last episode, uh, we had an extremely, extremely short war with the uh, United States and gained nothing out of it. Um, I didn't want the peace, my government wanted the peace, so we had one clash with basically a museum fleet, which did not go. I thought my fleet was bad, but the uh, fleet the Americans sent at me was way, 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 way worse. Triple my size and nothing but museum ships. So um, that didn't go too well for them. And before the second fleet could be engaged, uh, we peaced out. So not my choice, AI's choice. So we got nothing out of that war. I don't even think we got enough money to pay for the fuel we used. But uh, now 1905... Oh, wait, before we go into that, we are staring at another war with France right now, which I'm not happy about, because I don't want to go to war with them. We're at negative 83 with them right now, so I need to appease them a little bit, because I at least want one year of peace, possibly two, to help rebuild our finances. We're growing at a 6% on our GDP, which is not a lot. And we're negative three million right now. So I need a few, but we have three billion in the bank, almost four billion in the bank. So we're good for a while. But like I said, it's now 1905. So it is time for the uh, 1905 uh, ship refits. So uh, there's going to be a few cutting cutouts here because I'm not going to hold you all for the loading screens to go through this stuff. Otherwise, uh, it'll probably take about almost a full hour just for that alone. All right, Toffenstrudel, time for a refit. The uh, the knockerels I have deleted is nobody's purchasing those anymore because they've been buying these up in the destroyers now. But these guys get one last refit to stay in the water a bit longer. I'm not giving those guys better turrets. Torpedoes. And giving them the mine hunter. 493 of 500. I don't think we're going to get any more speed out of that. But give it one more knock. The engine's going to be too heavy. So we'll work with that. All right, the Linzer Tort Destroyer. I know it looks like a torpedo boat, but this is the Austrian uh, destroyer design, which I, looks way too much like a torpedo boat. So this gets its first refit. A little bit better of everything. Stereo 2. Mine's going to be too heavy. Good. Now, I need these to have mine sweepers because we're shoved up against Italy. All of our ports basically touch each other on the map, so we need we do need the mine sweeping capabilities. I don't want to touch its range or its speed. Do you want to lay mines at my ports? That's a thing. I got no armor on this one. Drop the range down a little more. Can I get the mines on? Still too heavy. Right back down to 17 inch torpedoes. Still too heavy. Actually, mine layer three. There we go. 747 to 750. Back up. Nope, too heavy. All right, we lose the range. And we get some mine lane sweeping capabilities, so we'll roll with that. 
Alrighty, we now get to design ourselves a new destroyer. Oh, but I'm cold destroyers. I just realized that they're still called large torpedo boats. That's why they look like torpedo boats. They're just then I'm destroyers. They're large torpedo boats. Okay, all two. Max speed at thirty-two point one. Uh, what can I get these up to? One thousand tons. And we're actually going to call these, staying with our, uh, naming these things after desserts, the uh, Vanilla Kipferl. And I probably butchered the pronunciation of that, but hey. I'm an American, we butcher the names of everything that's not English. We even butchered the names of English. I'm going to keep with the three inch guns on these because they're still viable weapon in this time period. They're Mark twos, so they're still good. Dually launchers. What? Four torpedoes on here and give her a gun at the rear also. It's about centered. talks crap about the Austrian Navy when you look at these hull designs there's a good reason for it all right I gotta see wait somewhere We're definitely in range oh these things are gonna have a horrible range oh That's 999 and 1,000 tons. I really do not like this design. It's got the speed. Engine efficiency is bad. Really bad. But I want to have all these tubes on it. Ugh. I don't want to go down to single launchers. And what world was it? Like I said, like I keep saying, these uh, early destroyers and torpedo boats are not designed to survive. They're designed to drop torps and run. All right, so the Vienna class light cruiser gets its third refit. I really don't like this whole. I I don't like these protected cruiser designs. I really don't. We got to work with them. Why I couldn't select on anything. There you get better engine, better armor. I don't want to put picric acid on too. My cruisers, but doesn't have a choice at this point. It's only two things I can choose is one or two. And this has a lower chance of blowing up on me, so we'll use that. We're not putting mines on the light cruisers because they're usually at sea. I've got enough weights. Auxiliary engine. 
Speed's okay. Can I get a little more range on or no? 3,712, 3,750. So definitely adding armor onto this thing. I'm not getting one inch all around. All right, half an inch of armor added basically all around except the superstructure. We'll roll with it. All right, now the Graz class gets a refit too. So, once again, these all these early ships are basically the same design, just more and more tonnage. Nothing really different about them. Never gave her enhanced reload? Really? Oof. That's an oversight on my part. Thankfully, she didn't fight. Mines once again, 4,407. Renor Auxiliary, 4,432. Get the armor up a little bit. too much so six of an inch all the way around 4500 even we'll roll with that and now we get to design ourselves a new light cruiser uh once again stick with our naming convention these will be named after austro-hungarian rivers so this will be the lens class so max displacement 6500 best speed 20 and a half knots we'll give her 20 uh, crew quarters. Let's head on all the goodies. Green guns first. Uh, that fits, but screwed the mark up on the forward gun. Wrong with the bows of these things, if you notice, they really mess up with the forward firing arc on these guns. Sounds uh, really can't fire forward with these things. It's horrible. If I could have put a barbette on there, which we can't, that would solve the issue, but it won't let me put a barbette on. This thing's already really jumping up in weight. I'm not going to put an ultra big funnel on there. Let's put the rest of the guns, everything else in there, and then we'll figure out what funnel we want. Secondaries. Why do you have such a bad forward firing arc? Is that tower really inter... You have a better forward firing arc than that, really? You know what? It'll work. It'll work.
5100 to 6500. Let's increase the length on these three inch casemates. I do want 76. Deck three inches, increase the length. The three inches, like the sevens, I still want them lobbing rounds at a distance to get the deck penetrations, but the three inches, I want them to have the range to engage destroyers and torpedo boats at a distance and keep them away. Deck brings us to 53. Can I go one inch all around? Looks like I can. Range belt. There we go. Maximum range. Hmm. 700 or 6500. I got a lot of space to play with here. Oh, I didn't put the damn funnel on. <laughs> I'm like, how the hell do I have so much space? I don't have a funnel. 214 tons. Four weights offsets a little high. All my ships end up having their damn funnels in the rear because of the damn four weight offset. It looks weird. Who knows? Maybe it'll throw off the enemy. Everybody's used to having their funnels forward or centered. Maybe they'll think my. Ships are sailing away from them when they see them. You know, a little bit of a trick of the mind there, of the eye. <laughs> yeah, let's get let's pump up the armor a little more. Can you up to four? Yes, I can. Four on the main. Increase the deck. Yeah, all we're going to be increasing. There we go. Four-inch main belt, one-inch all around, except for the main deck at 1.3. I think she'll survive. No, oh, we'll see. <laughs> and I renamed her, right? Get a lens, okay. Actually, the last class, the Graz, I only ever built one of them, amazingly. Maybe I just forgot to build more of them. I don't know. Then again, I don't have a lot of dock space either. My miner's buying up uh, ships. I just don't have dock space at all. All right, now the Danube class, heavy cruiser gets a refit. So, uh, I remember everybody saying, and I, there was a few comments on the last video about it. I said I was going to hate this design. And it was surprisingly fun to play with. Because I was looking at all these casemates going, oh my god, it's a French hotel. But these things have a wider firing arc than the French ships do. A much, much wider firing arc than the French ships do. So this was a surprisingly effective ship. And I like it. <laughs> to be honest with you, I really like this thing. I went from hating it to loving it. This is... oh. Some of these guns are too big now. Two and a half inches. I'm going to have to reduce them to twos. All right. Auxiliary.
8,200. All right, I got to reduce the size on those two inches. Oh, that's the armor. Two point three still fits okay. Where are the fours? Other oh, casemates, okay. Yeah, the mark the two inch guns are now mark three, so they got a little bigger. Orange guns are Mark II's now. You know, what? I'm going to remove the four inchers. Where's there another four incher on here? All right, we're just going to go two. This way, I only have the two calibers on the ship to uh, reduce splash. And those are not going to fit there, are they? That's fine. I don't need any of those keys right there. A little bit of a weight saving right there, too. It's already got max range, good speed for the hull, so... Armor her up. One five all around. Eighty one hundred, eighty five hundred. Wow, I got plenty of space left. Let's get that main deck, get that pitch and roll into control. Eighty two hundred. Okay. I'm actually able to. All right, five inch main belt, two inches all around with 2.1 on the main deck. I think that will do her. All right, now we get to design ourselves a new heavy cruiser. And what in God's green earth am I looking at? So the last one was the, uh, the fast armored cruiser hole. And there's really nothing fast about that armored cruiser. I think max is 18. We got armored cruiser four. Goes up to 8,500. And that thing's just tall. Double barbettes all the way down. All right. That's not the max weight we can use. What the? So, <clears throat> yeah. So we can get these up to 11,000 tons. So this will definitely be our biggest ship. And we still have to do our first battleship after this one. But uh, what in God's green earth am I supposed to do with this design? That is a really weird superstructure. And right, staying with our naming conventions for the heavy cruisers. This will be named after a river. So this will be the Latha class. Max speed for this hull, 20 knots, 20. Let's drop the range down for now, spacious quarters. I want to set these down where they look like they make sense. 
think that fits on the structure. That's just me. I mean, they don't have to, but I want them to, you know, look like they're supposed to fit there. Not have parts hanging over the side. No more bets on here. We have to mark three 10 inches. What about the 11s? 11s are still marked two, so we'll go with the 10 inches for the mark three. What can I put under there? Can't put anything underneath, but I can definitely get secondaries on. Where are my five inches at? They're mark twos. I could fit quite a few of these. I don't really care about the way that one's sitting, but it works. Casemates, we can get two inches on there. Get a lot of two inches on here. See, 211,000. We got a lot of weight to play with. All right, this does not have the torpedo broadside of the other heavy cruiser. That, uh, that other heavy cruiser has a broadside like a wow. Surprised the hell out of me when I saw it. All the good stuff, because we got a ton of weight to play with. We should be able to armor the hell out of this thing. And she's going to be very expensive. It only put us at 7,700 tons. Really? Max out the range, 8,000 kilometers, 9,100 tons. How much armor can I slap on this thing? 6.3. Five around on the rest? No, we're not going to get five around on the rest. I'll go three around on the rest. And see what we have left to play with. Oh, I still have to put the funnels on. Once again, I forgot the funnels. And the duels are not going to fit in there. No. <laughs> Wait, one of them does. They do. Doesn't fit in the rear. Let's go dual smalls. No, those guns are blocking it. I dual large. Place them right there in between the casemates. Speed much less increase the length of those two inches. I got a four percent length increase on those, really. But the fives, what can I get those up to? Seven inch length increase. Okay, let's drop this down to two inches all around. Sorry about that. Thought my phone was on silent. And of course, you know, it's going to be a spam call. 10,669. So three on the main deck. 10,901. Slowly increase everything else up around it. Thousand nine ninety. Ten thousand nine ninety eight eleven thousand. Fifty eight million dollar price tag. Oh it's gonna hurt building one of these. Thankfully I'm only building one of these. 
Pitch and roll, not that great. Engine efficiency, not that great. I got everything on there that I wanted, so we'll roll with it. All right, we now get to design our first battleship. And we're going to be using uh, Experimental Dreadnought Hole 1. Because uh, that's the biggest we can make them right now. And that's 25,000 tons. And this will be the Charlemagne class. So we're only building one of these. Max speed 21.5, so we'll give it 22. Knock down the range. So we're going to put the main guns and barbettes on first. 13 Mark IIs, 12 inch Mark II. Things Mark II, so we'll go with the 13s. Might be a little too big, apparently. Not put that up there. Why is your fire affected by the tower? That's better. Can you get you slid forward a little bit? Oh yeah, you slid forward a lot. not liking I can't put these funnels into the holder on the back of the tower. Oh, there it goes. Now it wants to sit. Didn't want to sit before. That's better. Increase that citadel size down. Oh, wait, what's that? Four. Point one, but we're about to... Just a little bit. Point six four weight offset. Two percent fairly center lined weight. I'll roll with that. Secondaries on here. Should be a little bit more than that. Hopefully, without increasing the beam. Batteries of five inch secondary should be good. 
What are the eight inchers? Those are Mark twos also, but I don't think they're going to fit. Eight inch casemates on this thing. Holy crap. This thing's got some very large casemates. Okay, I may have to reduce the size of those because we're quickly jumping up in weight. I may have to take the guns down from 13s. overweight twenty six thousand seven twenty three she's actually not too badly overweight. I want those eight inchers. I think we go with sevens. That's still going to put us overweight. I don't want to ditch the thirteens. Six inchers. Still overweight. Right, looks like we're going down to fives. The main battery is what does all the work. Still overweight. Hmm. Don't want to mess with engine efficiency. And I didn't put any launch torpedo launchers on this. Uh, let's go down to single barrel fives. Twenty four thousand eight ten, and we start done up the armor on this thing yet. <laughs> oh, God. Too much main deck. Pitch is still bad. Roll is good. F deck. Pitch down to 41.8. Too much. Nope. One point anywhere looks like it's making it too much. Yep. 24,987 to 25,000 tons. Eight 13 inch barrels and a ton of five inches. We'll roll with it. I'm only building one of these things. 183 million is going to be a lot of money for my economy. Oof. All right, now all the refits are finally done. That always takes a while, especially with all the load screens. And right now it says negative balance of 30, 35 million a month negative while building all that stuff. And we are using a ton of our ship building capacity. My ship building capacity is only 91,000 tons. We're using 126,250 of it. So it also has to do with our minor nations ordering ships from us. Like they placed an order just a few months before the refits. As those clear off, 
Hopefully everything starts building faster, but it's going to be 30 months before our battleship is ready to go. 22 months before the new heavy cruiser is ready to go. Seven months. Wait, the refits are taking seven months on the old light cruisers? Are you kidding me? So I got to stay at peace with France for at least seven months. But that works. I want to stay at peace with them for at least a year while my economy recovers. So I'll be back with the next incident. All right, it's now March of 1906, and once again, we are back at war. And we were at war once again with the United States. They declared war on us. And uh, about two months later, I declared war on France because our ally Germany was fighting them. So, uh, yeah, we just got drawn into an early World War I, it looks like. And <laughs> I'm having a hard time getting my new ships built. It took me over a year to get the uh, the new destroyers built. Something that was originally supposed to take seven months took over a year. As you can see, we're building 26 ships right now, but only three of them are mine. Everything else is going to my minor allies. They love the designs that I built. So Charlemagne's still 19 months out, the Letha is 11 months out, and the new light crews are still five months away. How the hell do I have... Okay, I got a light cruiser named San Jacinto. Did somebody... That might have been a request. Okay. I think that was a request name. Been over a week since the last episode, so I really don't remember everything. All right, but we do have one battle going on here. So, uh, the light cruiser San Jacinto going up against the heavy cruiser Leon Gambetta. And less than a thousand tons difference between my light and this heavy. So, it's an older heavy. I mean, it's a heavy cruiser at 4,500 tons. That's a museum ship for the most part. 16 million costs to our... Yeah, they cost about the same. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go jump into this fight. I'll see you on the other side of the load screen. All right, we spotted each other. Right, at least I spotted him. He hasn't seen me yet. So we're getting some shots out, but nothing's really connected. My accuracy sucks at this range. Oh, we're starting to get some return fire now. Get ourselves broadside, get the rest of our guns in action. It says smooth waves, but this looks anything other than smooth. Yeah, we got Torp out. Long range for it, though. He just took a... Alright, midship's hit. Now oh, that Torp's not going to hit. hotels. Oh, we're about to move into Torp range. Give me a hard left. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to get in Torp range. You know, they're not a speed. Let's get away from that. Here real fast. Looks like a nice little screenshot going on. Yeah. Shit, we're near torp range. Get the hell out.
we have a bow launcher? I can't tell. I don't remember if these uh, French heavy cruisers get bow launchers or not. Just give me HE all around, please. You're too close for that AP. Start burning her down if we can. There's a torpedo. Swing all the way around since our other launchers were loading. I didn't put a bow launcher on this class. But I think we may have to get out of here. Even though it's an older heavy, it's doing a lot of damage to us. You have a lot of fires set on her throughout her decks. a torpedo, but if it's already fired, it means the safeties are on and she's not going to blow. I heard some, I think I remember hearing a YouTuber say something about that, so uh, the way explosives work, if the safeties are off, they're really generally not going to blow. Unless there's a very large fire. Yeah, she's getting a lot of good hits on us and we're not getting any on her. He's got a green crew and doing better than we are. Oh, get that tube facing her. Close enough where she can't avoid the damn thing. And there goes my rudder. Shit. Come on. Give me a torpedo. She's not going to have any flood control damage. She's too old for it. Got a couple of good hits on us. Uh. Get that damn torpedo out. Oh, it was already went out. Damn it. Alright. Start getting out of here. Go straight ahead. Up, speed out, please. Stuck in a turn. Look that torp missed. Should have not put her on an aggressive launch. I wanted that torpedo out. Go straight now, give us the best speed. I don't think the San Jacinto's gonna make it. does make it out of here, she's going to be up for months and uh, not too long in dry dock. She's got a lot of flood damage, but her structure's fine. Let's 
some reason holes in the hole don't count as uh, major structural damage. They're getting their fires under control. We got a lot of fires set on her. 20, we got her crew down to 23%, was my that? We're at 8.2% losses, that 23% losses. We weren't taking so much float damage, we could finish this. While we're sailing away, if our float comes under control, I'll definitely turn around and re-engage. We're doing a number on her crew. Right now, only our rear seven can really engage. You know, I never put rear tubes on my ships. This is one of those occasions where I wish I had one. Alright, we're getting our float under control. Get out of her torpedo range. We'll turn and try to put another torp into her. Twenty-eight percent crew loss. Twenty-nine percent. Drop down to full speed. God, if only our rudder wasn't damaged. guns to bear. We might make her surrender. Oh, she sank due to extensive fires. <laughs> I will take it. <laughs> Good job, San Jacinto. And they gave us an easy 2100 points against the French. I'll take it. I really thought we were going to lose to San Jacinto there. That was not going as well as it should have. Now she's no longer a trained crew. She should have a seasoned crew on her now, which will make her better in the next fight. Ooh. That still was close. My float was pretty bad. Even with the good flood control, I was losing a lot of float. But I do have a, a wide beam on these ships. And when those compartments flood, they flood fast. And that's the problem with the wide beams. You get faster flooding with them. Got a more stable platform to fire from, but... Yeah, she's probably going to be laid up for a few months. Let's take a look. Only one month on the uh, repairs. Okay. Yeah, we'll move into the next turn and see what happens. All right, it's now June of 1907. We've actually gone over a year without any uh, battles happening naval-wise. And we are now at war with the Soviet Union also. And they've launched an attack against us from Ukraine, but our army logistics are better than theirs. We're allied with Germany and Spain, so they're adding soldiers to the defense. So I'm not so worried about it this time around as I was the last time around. But when we beat back that offensive and then attack into Ukraine ourselves and take that away from them. But uh, we do have a battle here down in the Western Med with uh, one of my CAs and three of my uh, light cruisers against one of their battleships, a heavy cruiser, a light cruiser, and a torpedo boat. Probably not going to go in my favor. I have one of my Graz refits and the new Lens class. So way outweigh their light cruiser. But fairly modern. 8,000 ton heavy cruiser. Nine inch guns. What's the drop I got? Drava's got 7.9s. That's right. It's the old broadsider. So, uh, 
yeah, what could go wrong with this fight? We're definitely going to jump into this, see if we can at least do some damage. 9.1 inch guns on a battleship? Really? I'm not so worried about this fight anymore. I think it's about the same price as one of my new heavies. Yeah, we're going to jump into this one. I'll see you all on the other side of the load screen. So we have started engaging the enemy fleet at range with my 7.9s, which means the 7s on my light should be coming into bear any time now. There goes the Vienna. So the Drava's got a regular crew, the Vienna's got a veteran crew, the other two have trained crews. Thankfully I have enough money to train crews up. I have everybody set to HE because I've been going to have to burn these ships down as quickly as possible. Once the Drava can get her two inches to bear, we should be burning stuff down pretty quickly. Focused completely on that battleship, please. Once we come broadside on that torpedo, but we'll focus the twos on her and just wipe her out as fast as possible. But identifying, so we don't know how much crew she has. Is that the light cruiser? That's the light cruiser to read boats back there. Got over a thousand crew on that ship. It's going to take a while to burn her down. Unless she's got bad armor. And yeah, we're getting pens with the HE. Looks like we're going to sit just outside of our torp range. We got this excellent broadside of torpedoes, so let's move in a little closer. And she doesn't have torps on the battleship, and I don't have these ships identified yet. Sending fires here, but we haven't had too many hits yet. There we go. Two inches. I need to start working over to CL. Should be in our arc about now. Oh yeah, those two inches are working her over pretty good.
Gonna her into a crispy critter. Ooh. <laughs> okay, maybe I should have done a second an updated design on the draw, but with more displacement, because I'm loving how these two inches are working everything over. Oof. Already at 23% crew loss. We were ripping her down. There she goes. Right, focus your twos on the torpedo boat, please. Let's get her knocked out before she makes a run on us. This is the sheer amount of firepower we could put out with those twos. Oh. Best screenshot in the world, but hey, I'll take what I can get. Especially when you start engaging stuff at long ranges, it's hard. It was that torpedo boat. Start circling in on their heavy. This is going much more in our favor than I thought it would be. I don't know if we're going to be able to take down the battleship, but we'll try. We haven't really been getting any hits on her. We're going to have to get in close with torpedoes. Even the two is really on touching her. She's just staying right outside of our torpedo range. Why do my sevens have such a bad aim on them? They're basically eight inches, but their aim should be better than this at this range. Even with the other ships firing at her, the splash could not be affecting us this much. I got my speed by another knot. on the Jules Ferry, please. Main gun hit, but really didn't do too much damage. Now 
now we got better aim on our sevens. I guess all the lights firing at the battleship was not helping. Everybody's got the same caliber gun. Over Penwood HE, really. I believe we're overpending with HE on her. Wow. 23% penetration chance with HE. <laughs> on the battleship, please. Let the driver take care of her. There we go. Trying to circle and tie. The problem is it's making their aim better also by getting in closer. trained crew also, but we're burning her down. She may go down the uh, structural fires. Running slow, so increase our accuracy. Let's drop it to 16, see if we can get a little bit better of an accuracy on her. I want to get this FB gone. Got her rudder, and she's flooding. Uh, Graz's engine's damaged, it's not good. to focus our torpedoes on the battleship. Uh, give me an aggressive launch against her if she comes into range. Please. She's staying out of torpedo range. She's being smart about it. I haven't even knocked down 6% of her crew yet. The only reason I'm... I should have the other heavy cruiser here, but she's still a month away from commissioning.
progress with your torpedoes, please. We only got the single launchers. Ooh, grass. Let's look. Yeah, let's get you out. Just launched torps at the battleship, it looks like. And one of them is a dud. The other one gonna strike. I don't think they see it yet. Nah, that's gonna miss. That's gonna go right past her bow. And it was a dud anyway, just blew in the water. Take out the ferry, please. And grow smoke up. She's almost gone. It's taken longer than I thought it would. Probably should have been firing AP at her. She's burning everywhere. I'm surprised she hasn't gone down to structural fires yet. Same with the Requeen. We've got fires all over. spreading looks like they were tr getting them under control yeah they're down to 85% damage control so, a little bit longer down a lot so our sec our two winters are now got their this is a sheer amount of firepower this broadside can put out it's amazing Control. Almost 30% crew loss. Red one's still a problem. Come on. She's getting closer. I'm should be able to put a torpedo broadside at her soon. I just gotta get into a tighter turn and straighten out so we can't get her inside our circle. Now the 
fairies flooding along all of her lower decks. She is not long for this world. Yep. All right, let's tighten up on the battleship. There she goes. She's chasing the Graz. She's chasing the Graz. Somebody just launched. Vienna just launched. Torpedo broadside. Yeah, they're all running right on top of each other. Coming. One went off course and just dud it out. Nah, they're gonna miss. Maybe. Oh, looks like we're gonna have a strike. All three. Don't be duds. Nice. Stuck, and we just launched another torp. I guess we didn't launch all of our tubes. That's right, they got five tubes on each side. That hit sounded worse than it was. Nice. Two percent crew loss. She's almost done. Engine's gone. And 
just had another torpedo launch go out. And they're still firing at the Graz. Oh. She'd be out of range by now, but she's down to her auxiliary engine. Now you stole a float. Come on. Sacrificing their secondary guns instead of their damage control, that's why. Now it's starting to sacrifice damage control. Ooh, and there goes another broadside of torpedoes. Some of those are actually going to miss. Basically dead in the water. One of them's going to miss. Once again, one of them is going off course. It's all stern hits, too. Boom! Nine percent float. She is done. French probably came into this. Ah, it's the Austrian Navy. They're going to be pushovers. <laughs> There's your right. It did take a little longer than I expected. Ross took medium damage. The lens is my newer one. Get 11,154 victory points out of that. Sinking the Battleship Rick Wynn, Heavy Cruiser Jules Ferry, and the Light Cruiser de Gras. Not so bad. And no, we are not going to agree to a peace just yet. I want to try and grab some of your African possessions. We sure as hell don't have a high enough war score for that. That only puts us at 13,293. They probably want a peace treaty because the Germans are advancing into northern France. How's this offensive look in? 16,000 losses is 71,000. Our logistics are better than theirs now, so not a big deal. And the Americans are all up here in the North Sea, but not really engaging my fleet at Lerwick. They are worth the Russians sending everything to the Baltic. No, they're not worth the Soviet Union. Hmm, why are they sending everything to the Baltic? Makes no sense. Oh, well, well, I think it was a good place to end this episode. Again, the uh, 1905 refit's done. Uh, two small fights happening. But once again, I don't have a large fleet, so fights are few and far between. So 
Well, once again, if you're a new viewer, return view, not yet subscribed, please think about hitting that subscribe button. If you do, remember hit that bell icon so the next video comes out. And if you'd like a ship name for you, I'm only handing out torpedo boats and destroyers right now to uh, non-members. Members can request light cruisers, heavy cruisers. Uh, not handing out the battleships even to members because there's I only got the one being built right now, so <laughs> don't need any fights over it. And if you've been following along and joined the series, don't forget to drop an AP shell into that like button and an HE shell into the comments section. Get that algorithm working in our favor. And I will see you all at the next episode. Stay grumpy.